find myself in that club of the club that nobody wants to be in, which is <laughs> a passerby found a body. Yeah, it's 20 years, but it's the last thing you think you're ever going to see in the River Thames. It's, um, it was so shocking. Oh, I'm never going to forget it for as long as I live. Interestingly, that... The boy's identity remains a mystery. There is a family missing a son of that age. The butchered torso of a five-year-old boy is... I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Yeah, I was heading um, into town on a business meeting across the bridge and happened to glance out. And the tide was quite high at the time. I remember it was an incoming tide. And I thought it was a tailor's mannequin because I could see the indentation on the top, which was a belly button. The furthest thing from your eye is that, is that it's a body. Police named him Adam. And last Saturday, they placed a wreath in the river at the spot where his body was found. His limbs and head had been severed. It's very, very graphic, but it's also something that it's the shock of why is it there? Why? Who did it? I did deal with uh, mental health issues, of feeling utterly helpless, knowing that this was somebody's son. That's the hardest thing, is, is knowing that he was it was a person, um, it was a boy, it was a small boy with a personality and it was cruelly taken away from him in some sort of ritualistic murder. <laughs> 